I'm going to start off with a song called My Baby Looks Good in Camouflage. The hey, only thing better than a pretty girl is a girl in camouflage. I hope you'll enjoy it. When my baby sees me watching all my hunting videos, she's been itching, she's been begging, she's been wanting to go. I said, you got to get up early. Honey, you ain't gonna like it Cause you're in a tree and you gotta be quiet But she was bound, she was determined So I took her down and fitted her From head to toe and oh my gosh My baby looks good in camouflage All day down, brown and green She's the sexiest tree I've ever seen and I'm sitting in the stand, she's holding my gun, and I'm holding her hand, and even when it's cold, she feel hot. My baby looks good in camouflage, all right. When she walks through the woods, all the bugs come running, them long bear turkeys get the job and men strutting, they're all they talk about at the deer camp. And I'm sitting in the stand, she's holding my gun, and I'm holding her hand, and even when it's cold, she's still hot. My baby, my baby, my baby looks good in camouflage, all right. Just keep your hands off of her. <laughs> This next song is uh, called Her Man by Gary Allen. Uh, I got a, I'm very fortunate to have a great girlfriend. Uh, she graduated from UNA. She's walking uh, December 13th. Made straight A's UNA. And people don't get recognized enough for that stuff anymore. So if y'all will give her a round of applause. She's not here tonight. She's working like she, she, uh, she's a waitress at Buffalo Wild Wings. She wears sunglasses hut and she just graduated. So I mean. She's got the ball rolling and she supports me and my music and I couldn't ask for a better girlfriend. So uh, this is for her, it's called Her Man. I'm gonna change my way of doing things around here. Yeah, I'm flirting over a new leaf. Gonna get myself in gear Cause I've got a woman who's better than most And I've made a mess of her plans And starting today I'm gonna be a her man Cause I've been a wild cat And a go, go, get a bit so be right down to the letter. I've had misadventures. I've even had pictures. I'm even more than I can stand. And starting today, all I'm gonna be is her man. Cause all I've done is take Yeah, I put her on the back burner But I was out on the mate But I've got a woman who's good enough To give me a second chance again Cause starting today All I'm gonna be is her man You know what? Cause I've been a wildcatter and a go, go, get up in an SOB Right down to the letter, I've had misadventures I've even had pictures, I'm even more than I can stand And starting today, all I'm gonna be a third man I'm a little bit late, but I'm wild enough now Taking her by the hand 
Sorry today, all I'm gonna be is her man. Thank y'all, I'd like to thank the perfect boss, y'all enjoy the show. But uh, this next song I wrote, this is actually about my childhood, about when I bought my first guitar and my mom's influence on uh, music in my life. Many years ago when I was young, the 60s music was so fun, and the melodies would haunt me through the day. And the music that I always heard about, hate and death and love and fear, would touch my ears and lead me to that place. Sing a song, cause I love to sing a song because you care. Sing a song for the music in the Pretty woman, I don't believe you if I see true. 
Okay, uh, this is our song of the day. It's a Christmas song that I wrote. It's called it's Christmas Town for Sure.
bold and full and face While the sky above keeps getting wild And the sun climbs harder and higher There's not a cloud to be found Oh, 
Then comes a welcome cry. I am here to look at me.
like me or a real true believer. In a dream of that certain someone among the deceivers. But the will I hear entangled in what love alone can inspire.
You mean they didn't hear that one? That might be good. You got like half a bit. Yeah, that's
a fellow that played guitars. He played some of the guitars that I built back in the mid-90s. And I wrote an article about him here a while back. I'm not going to read the whole thing for time's sake. I just want to read you just a little of this article that uh, I put out on a blog called bentnoteblog.com because I want you to know uh, who, who Chris's daddy is. Uh, he's coming to play with us next week, but this is about his son. It's titled, Chris Quillen's Monster Talent for Music and Friendship. Hey man, pull in here quick. Chris Quillen was jerking his thumb toward the Madison Square Mall parking lot. We were driving from Florence, Alabama to a small venue called Vapor, 75 miles east in Huntsville. Warren Haynes and Alan Woody of the Allman Brothers Band had recently teamed up with German Mad Apps to form a project they were calling Government Mule. The Mule was playing at Vapors and record producer Johnny Sandlin suggested I take some of my handmade guitars to show Warren. So armed with that uh, referral, I invited Chris to go with me. Chris was always great company, but I had no idea what he was up to. When he got out of the truck, said, I'll be right back, and disappeared into the mall. If Dwayne Allman arrived in 1968 as the first Free Spirit in Muscle Shoals, Chris Quillen was the Shoals area's second incarnation, the incarnation of that spirit. Blonde hair flowing down below his shoulders, an impish grin, a wickedly spot-on sense of humor, goodwill towards everyone, and a guitar playing, and guitar playing that flows so effortlessly, a friend once remarked to me, it's a crime to make it look that easy. Chris just lived to make music, literally. And like Dwayne, his talent for friendship and guitar playing drew, drew a fiercely devoted network that supported his endeavors. Chris, who didn't even, he didn't even own a car during the time that I knew him. He even had devotees among the local police department. They would carry him wherever he needed to go in a squad car uh, whenever he flagged him down for a ride. Dwayne's nickname was Sky Dog because of his exuberant personality and his mutton chops. Chris's nickname was Monster because he was a monster guitar player. I mean, he could really make the thing sing. We met uh, when I was teaching myself how to build guitars, and uh, he and a guy named Matt Ross, who has played with me some, uh, would stop by my shop in the evenings to kind of check out what I was doing. And the first guitar I actually finished, the first car top guitar, wound up loaning it to Chris. And the article continues, the lower guitar became a matter of a good bit of fun and verbal hijinks between us as I tried to persuade Chris to return it and he filled it all manner of reasons why he needed to keep it. The instrument sounded fabulous in his hands and of course the guitar did more good for me when he was playing and recording with it than when it was in my shop. He later ordered a guitar for me, a Car Top Muscle Shoals Deluxe. And his determination to play my instruments was one of the greatest compliments I ever received for my guitar building efforts. Then I just go on to say how in the mid-90s the fiddle worms built a very large following in the shows. It looked like they were going to break out big. Uh, and I was invited to introduce them from the stage the last night that they played while Chris was still living. And I'll skip down to that part. Saturday night. The 25th of May, 1996, a large crowd converged on downtown Florence to hear the Fiddle Worms play a holiday weekend show. Informal estimates put the crowd at just under 10,000. Many luminaries from the Muscle Shoals music scene were there. I even have a photograph of a 17-year-old Jason Isbell standing by the stage as the opening act played. Any of you ever heard of Jason Isbell? Bound to have heard of Jason Isbell. If you watch the American Music Awards, he walked off with a number of big awards this last year. Uh, after I introduced him, I grabbed my camera and started taking pictures because it had the feeling that there was a major breakthrough in the offing for that band that night. But the next morning, the Shoals area woke to the stunning news that Chris had been involved in a one-car accident in the early hours of Sunday morning and was gone in an instant. There are no words to describe the emotional fog that descended on everyone close to Chris and the fiddle worms. He inspired so much joy, it was inconceivable to think he was gone. Patterson Hood, any of you heard the drive-by truckers? 
Okay, Patterson Hood is a job by truckers uh, who we all knew each other back then. Patterson was trying to get Chris to come over to Athens, Georgia and play in that band. I just write here that Patterson has written eloquently about why that all seems so senseless. And then I'm just going to read this one last paragraph. And this is about kind of how the drive-by truckers got started because of Chris Quillen's inspiration. In the dirt underneath, a chapter of Barb Wiseman's documentary on the drive-by truckers, titled The Secret to a Happy Ending, Patterson describes his last phone call to Chris. This is where he's trying to persuade him to come to Athens, Georgia. And the subsequent shock of losing his friends. Then he explained that part of the emphasis, and a part of the emphasis for the drive by truckers came from a dream that he and Rob Malone and Mike Cooley had the same time of the funeral. Quote, I always felt that our band sort of did what was tied to that dream. He says emphatically that he never believed in tales of ghosts or the supernatural, but the dream was vivid, and that's his word. Quote, it was like he, like Chris, took a light and shined it down a path, and all I had to do was follow it. You can read the rest of that article and find out what Chris was doing in the mall at bentnoteblog.com, but I just want you to know who Carol's son was, uh, because her... It's obvious when you hear Carol play that that's where Chris got it from. I'm just going to do one Muscle Shoals song and leave you with that and hope you folks can come out on the 13th. This is a favorite of mine that uh, some of you have heard me play before. This is one that Otis Reddy actually demoed as a favorite of Rick Hall. And uh, nobody has ever surpassed the quality, I think, of the demo.
Uh, this first song I'm going to do for you is called uh, Grace of God. And if anybody doesn't know the grace of God, I'd check into it if I were you. Some awesome stuff. Um, let's see. I actually made a, uh, an amendment to the song, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, if you didn't like it, you won't hurt my feelings. I know uh, 
you know, you don't like everything everybody does. So, and I'd rather uh, you be honest with me than stroke my ego. So uh, this song here is called You and I, and it's dedicated to you and your significant other. Thank you. 
So, you know, Christmas is on its way. That's one of my favorite holidays. That's the 4th of July, the birth of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the birth of this country that I love. But we celebrate Christmas. I celebrate it every day. I'm thankful. You know, growing up, being from the back door, and I'm from the country, you know, give me an RC cold, a moon pie, and a mother zapper, and that's all I need to be happy. And I know this guy that went coon hunting one night down in Bankhead. And it says, one guy says, I got the best coon dog in the world. The other guy says, no, I do. Well, let's have a contest. So one guy gets his hounds ready, and this other guy pulls up, and he doesn't have a hound. In a cage, he has a big monkey, a big brown monkey. And he says, that's my coon dog. Let's see what yours can do. So they go out there, that coon dog sniffing around, and he points at a tree, and this guy has a monkey on the chain and lets him go. Now this monkey had a flashlight in one hand and a 22 pistol in the other. So he climbs up that tree with that flashlight looking for that coon. And everywhere he go, up and down the tree, shining that light and had that gun. If he finds the coon, he'd shoot him and the coon would fall. But he hadn't found one yet. So he comes down the tree, thumbs cocks the pistol, puts it up to the dog's head and kills it. <laughs> they said, man, what do you mean? That dog killed, that monkey killed my best dog. He said, well, that mon- there's one thing that monkey hates worse than a raccoon. And that's a coon dog that flies. Think about it. All that wasted effort. I'd be mad too, wouldn't you? I, I, I can still climb trees, but not as good as I used to. I wonder if I turkey with a butterball, because I sure am. So it's good to be here tonight, and I hope y'all enjoy the act. So, well, I'll see y'all later. I hope y'all have a good night, and God bless. Anyway, um, all the guys... And Holy Ghost means Holy Ghost songs. Why not? I think I got what you don't know. The spaceman can travel with his ship from afar. Was light years of time since his mission did start. And over the fish he held his crown and hung in the sky like a star, just like a star. He followed a light that came down to a shed Where a mother and child were lying on a bed A bright light of silver shone around his head And he had a face of an angel Never afraid And the saint just spoke, and he said, do not fear. I come from a planet a long way from here. And I bring a message for mankind to hear. The sun, the sweetest music, fill the air. And it went la 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 This lovely music went trembling to the ground And many were awakened from hearing that sound And travelers on the road to the village they found By the light of that ship 
in the sky the charm around and just before dawn had appeared in our sky the stranger returned and said now I must fly when two thousand years of your time has gone by the song will begin once again to babies cry and it will Thank you. 